with about 6 degrees water temperature and about 7-8 degrees outside temperature. And today being mid-February with the sun going down, we thought it's the ideal time to take this Sea Ray SDX290 out on the water. We're really thrilled that we're finally able to take boats out of the water again, out on the water I should say, uh, because it's been quite a few uh, months even, and today again is a beautiful day. The cushions are already a bit wet, but that has to do with the temperature, but that doesn't stop us from making this video. Again, this is the Sea Ray SDX290. For us, this is kind of a first because this is a boat that has been built in the US for quite some time. But this boat is a prototype because it's soon going to be built in Poland, Europe. And we as a dealer are extremely happy with that because that means that they are able to build the, this boat in a very efficient way. And cost-wise it's interesting because we don't have the expensive transport taking the boat from the US to Europe, which means that it is quite or will be quite competitively priced. So we're really happy to have it here. And as usual, I'd like to start at the bow. And the bow in any Sea Ray SDX is extremely wide. Um, it's a bit a squared off bow, which means that there's a lot of volume. And just to show you, let me quickly take off my shoes. I'm one meter 92, and you can see that this is extremely wide already being all the way up in the bow area. And there's a filler piece available also for this area. So you could imagine that this is a huge sunbed when you actually use them. And of course, in the bow, this being a 29 footer, it is nice and very comfortable to have a proper anchor winch, which is right here. I'm still happy to see the Sea Ray logo engraved in the cleats. A beautiful Lumar stainless steel anchor. Just a really nice solution for the anchor winch. Proper hatches, proper hinges, all made of, out of stainless steel in the 316 quality and non-skid all the way here. So you can use all this area to get on and off the boat when needed. A nice stone upholstery. Of course, there are different kind of colors available also. There's an ivory color, which is uh, extremely nice and subtle. And also there's a, I'm thinking of the word, but a mocha colored uh, upholstery, which a lot of people like also. But this again is the gray slash stone upholstery. Um, there's a place to fit the table also, which is right here. Um, there's a support which can go right here, uh, which is angled in this way. So that you can have a bow table here when you want to sit here with a group of friends, have a small lunch or play a game of cards or something like that. This is the ideal place to do so. There's four cup holders, two here, there's two there. Of course, there are speakers in the bow area. And uh, this upholstery with this honeycomb structure is typical for the Sea Ray SDX family. And of course, the ergonomics with any Sea Ray are always really good. You can see that the armrest and this place here are done in a way that it's just very comfortable sitting here with a nice handrail here which is relatively low but uh, really well done okay let me open up some of these to show you the area underneath the cushions because of course sea ray took all the effort to use all the space available under the seats and of course underneath this hatch there's also a very deep area to store things and you see that it's now filled with the filler pieces that are used in the bow area here. Some nice details that I like are these kind of gaskets. Not only do they prevent hatches from rattling while driving, but they also prevent from water entering, entering in the bilge area if you get a lot of water or a, a serious shower in the cockpit. And of course there's uh, overboard drains right there and you can even close off this area if you want for example if you want to put a wakeboard uh, inside and protect it from uh, theft a really practical feature with a lot of sea rays is that you can close off the uh, bow area 
like this. And not only this piece you use to close it off, but when you also close this window, you more or less take away the wind in the cockpit area aft, which is nice in early spring if the water is still a bit cold and you get a uh, kind of chilly wind inside the cockpit. You close this and you are sheltered from uh, the cold wind in the uh, cockpit, which is just very practical. So let me open it up again. And of course the area underneath the helm is used also. There's another huge cushion inside there. There are some switches right there and some nice details. This is what we hand over during a um, handover to a customer. And this, is, uh, of, this has got all the uh, manuals and the documentation that are supposed to go with any C-Ray. Inside this area here is a big head. Um, the C-Ray SDX270 has a similar head, but this is even quite a bit bigger. The boat being, I think, close to 20 centimeters more wide and of course longer also, offers you more space. So this is just a nice area uh, the main switch is still off, but a nice area, not only to have a proper head in, but also to be able to store things. We know from experience that a lot of people don't even use the toilet, but use this area to just, when they come on board, especially when you're with a large group of people, you have towels, maybe some toys, clothing, whatever, and you put the bags inside here and the boat still looks tidy and it is just a great storage area. Nice cup holders here, made out of stainless steel. A small locker here. Even that has a small draining hole here and even here. Can be locked uh, also. Again, there are speakers right here in the bow area too. There's two here, there's two in the aft, and there's a subwoofer below the um, helm seat right here. Um, with that, I know that this is still a prototype and that C-Ray is still thinking about how exactly they will be making it in Poland. Um, and before I forget, there's a nice fridge here. I love the stainless steel fridges that C-Ray often uses. But there's a second cooler right here and that I'm not sure of if C-Ray will actually be producing it, this and offering it as an option because the combination with uh, the subwoofer may mean that it requires too much ventilation. I do hope that they will be able to uh, manage this. Um, but before I go further back, let me stay uh, in this area. You see the flip up uh, possibility with both uh, seats right here. That giving you the possibility to have a better overview. You just sit a bit more higher which is uh, very practical if you tow people or if you're mooring in a marina, not only that you have a better overview, but you have a better access towards the uh, helm position. Also, you can easily get away. I also like the ergonomics on any sea ray with this angled footrest. And uh, even for tall people like myself, this, uh, there's plenty of space here. I could even slide this forward. Let me see if I can find yeah, right here. You can slide this forward and aft. And this for me is big enough. There's a nice 12 inch Shimra display, Fusion stereo. This is the upgraded version. Tilting steering wheel, bow thruster. Very, very practical um, uh, when mooring, especially if you're just by yourself. I find it very useful. Uh, reversing a boat, taking it into a mooring with a force 5 or more from the side. If you're just by yourself, I would say you even need a bow thruster. So a very nice uh, thing, even for very experienced uh, people. The new uh, Mercury slash McCruiser controls. I really like the styling of the new ones. This is new, I think, for 2023. Um, trim tabs. USB and 12 volt. Uh, they're all USB and an MP3 
connection. And of course, you can also connect your phone to use, for example, Spotify via this Fusion head unit. Uh, this boat also has a VHF, well, I'll leave it for now, but a VHF installed that may not be for everyone, but uh, it is interesting in certain areas where you need to communicate with bridges or locks. I like the windscreen also in this um, powder coated black finish. Um, even if you have my size, you're well protected behind this um, uh, a window screen and I also like the tinted windows and having a windshield wiper uh, just in front of me. That may seem very obvious but I know that not all boat, boat builders uh, offer that as a standard and T-Ray does. I also like the detailing such as the upholstery and again this honeycomb structure here. This you can use as an armrest, so very practical. And Another thing that I find very practical and I think is the, um, one of the most um, interesting features of the Sea Ray SDX family is that it's huge. And I'm um, reversing these backrests because now you can see how tall the cockpit actually is. There's no <coughs> certification plate in this boat yet, so I don't know by heart exactly for how many people it's been built. But you can imagine that even with two, three families, you could easily enjoy a great day on the water in this huge cockpit area. I really love this. This looks just like loads of fun. A nice teak table with the C-Ray logo um, uh, built in. And these cutouts more or less to put your drinks. And not only that, this can of course turn uh, in different directions. This you can also use as a grab hon and there's different ways of um, holding yourself. I mean look at the number of handrails. There are two here, there, there. There's plenty of places with this also to uh, hang on to in uh, rougher conditions. And this table now has been installed on this. Um, um, well, piece here, but there's another one right here, depending on the use. You could either install it there or here. And there's even a simple but portable cooler underneath the seat here for added um, cool storage. Cup holders all over the place, one there, there, there and there. Um, and of course, this area, as I mentioned, mentioned with the uh, Stainless steel refrigerator, really nice solution. And a tab here to rinse, rinse um, a cup or wash your hands. And this can be offered as a, uh, an option as a grill. Uh, I'm personally not always in favor of using this electric grill because you need power obviously. And what I would like is on a beautiful day such as today, but with a slightly higher temperature, being able to cook something here. So I would recommend using something like a portable barbecue or something uh, similar. There's a tower on this particular boat, which has been powder coated in white. But I know that Sea Ray is also looking into the possibility uh, offering it in black. It's a matter of taste. I would prefer the black one, I uh, suppose. But this has been made in uh, white and obviously there's also a bimini which is, has not been uh, installed at the moment and a relatively high towing pot, a point for the people who do wakeboarding. Um, storage of course underneath these seats, underneath the floor here, I won't show each and every one of them, but there's plenty of storage throughout the whole boat. This offering a nice possibility to get nice and simple slash quick way of getting in and out of the boat. This I particularly like. And I know from previous videos that there's always people like to have a look into the engine room. So let me have quickly open this. Um, this having the uh, Macruiser 8.2 Magnum, a very 
powerful engine. I'm not sure it's necessary. We've just been driving it. I really love it. I must say it's a 29 footer. It's relatively big and heavy. So it's really nice to have. The standard engine being the 6.2 liter 300 horsepower, I think is sufficient. But I think with the 350 uh, horsepower option, that would also be a really good uh, combination. And as you are used to by, uh, well, with the C-Ray, there's always good um, gas struts. So it's easy to open um, this engine room uh, lid. And there's an automatic fire extinguisher right on the uh, end. You may be able to see that there's a fresh water wash down also. Of course, the shower is outside. And the finish in any C-Ray is just really nice with the cabling and the wires being protected. Um, and also the insulation right here, for example, has been done in a really nice way. Um, there's dedicated storage also, by the way, for two tables on that end. Let me close it off. There we go. Um, okay, and the aft, of course, uh, this is just a huge area also. Something a lot of people like because this is a lot of the fun you actually have with the boat. It's not only the driving, but anchoring, being moored up somewhere and just lounging and relaxing. And there's plenty of space to do exactly that. Especially with this great bench area here, which is really big. Just imagine yourself sitting here on a beautiful day. Plenty of space. Cup holders right here. There's one right there. A nice high backrest, honeycomb structure, the C-Ray logo stitched in the backrest here. This can be tilted up slightly also so that you're more or less protected while having this in your knees so that you sli don't slide off uh, easily and you sit more comfortable. Armrests non-skid right here and on the other side a small piece also so that if you're moored to a relatively low pontoon you can get on and off the boat right here and of course there also with this boat having the uh, sea deck installed on the swimming platform standard you have non-skid here on the bathing platform but this has the uh, sea deck which is very practical and nice if you walk bare feet. It's easy to clean. Uh, and I do hope that in the final production boats they will also be doing this. A nice detail. I'm not sure whether they actually will be doing that, but I do hope so. I like uh, small details such as this. And of course the uh, submersible swim platform. I won't fully close it, but, uh, or lower it I should say. But you get the idea, sitting here on a beautiful day, 30 plus degrees, sitting here and enjoying the nice cool water, using it as a second uh, possibility to get in and out of the water uh, from. Kids really love the submersible swim platform, but not only that. It's also practical when you do wakeboarding or water skiing, because it's easy to take a wakeboard on or off, on or off when it's still slightly in the water. And the swimming ladder, of course, the standard swimming ladder, I should say, is underneath uh, here. Let me quickly see. Yep, it's right here. Three big steps, so deep enough to get in and out of the water properly. And also with a nice grab rail right here, so that you actually can get in and out of the water quickly. There's another, I think, 12 volt connection yep, right here. Remote control for the uh, audio. Um, a, uh, a trim slash um, tilt switch for the stern drive when you put uh, the boat on the trailer that can be very useful because then you don't have to climb on board and get everything dirty and wet and before I forget there's also a nice big storage underneath here and you may now see also that there's dedicated storage for the two bow slash cockpit tables, extra tables I should say, because there's a teak table in this boat. 
and here's the second support for the table so you can have two tables at the same time um, and still use this for storage so very practical and you see this was the uh, angled knee support I should say okay and with that uh, before I forget this is where you use the shower getting in and out of the water or out of the water I should say having been swimming in um, salt water mainly this is really nice to rinse off the salt okay let's uh, start up the engine and drive her okay man of board cord We go. So I just put her in gear. We're doing, let me tilt this so I can properly see, 800 RPM, six, seven kilometers an hour approximately. This is nice, smooth, quiet with this eight cylinder engine. This being the Simrad 12 inch display. I really like these because they offer plenty of possibilities to see whatever you want to see. There's no card, uh, SD card installed, but like this you get the idea that you can also actually use a... Um, let me zoom out, so we see the Netherlands. Again, there's no chart installed at the moment, but you get the idea. Um, and of course you can control the audio like this, the vessel control with the actor trim being on. I really like these screens, not only because they give you a good overview, but also because they're easy to use. Let me put her on the uh, engine gauges again. We still have 200 liters of fuel, should give us plenty of time to take this boat out for a quick spin. Doing 1100, 1200 RPM, 10 kilometers an hour. This would be a speed in a lot of canals and rivers in the Netherlands. Um, we're getting a bit of uh, moisture on the windows, with this being about the time that the sun has gone down. But still, it's beautiful. I love being out on the water, even though it's relatively cold, but it's great. System OK, it says, 14.3 volts, 1,400, 1,500 RPM, 12 kilometers an hour. And uh, let me just take her up the plane. I'm tilting this because of the windows being not clear at the moment because of all this moisture. Off we go. Very smooth, plenty of power. And of course, we're not fully loaded, but you just feel that it doesn't need any, well, it's, it's not struggling to get onto plane. We're already doing 54 kilometers an hour, and still it feels like there's plenty of power left. You have to be careful of the birds, which are here. Yep, 55 kilometers an hour. Let me also take some turns. Power assisted steering, so really easy in turns, just like this. It just feels very reliable and smooth. Active trim, so I don't need to worry about trimming the, uh, the stern drive. A really great big boat. Still, it feels sporty. So sporty enough to also use it for uh, wakeboarding, water skiing, for towing kids, all kinds of uh, toys behind the boat. Again, there's plenty of power. So let me pick up some more speed. 65, 
4,600 RPM, 74 kilometers an hour. Sorry about that, 75. I have to be careful here. But over 75 kilometers an hour. We're going over our own waves. Yeah, 75 kilometers an hour, which is really fast for a boat this size. This is really fun to go this fast with such a big power rider. It really flat like beautiful. So here we are again. All fresh. But it's been so much fun driving this boat. So that's it for this C-Ray SDX290. Uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, we'll be making other vi videos and other C-Rays and other boats. So please keep on following our channel. But thank you for watching. See you next time.